Mr. Prime here at MyPlanet.com, and today we are taking a look at Godzilla X Kong: The New Empire. This is Kong with the Beast Glove. I didn't know what this actually was called until I bought this figure, so I don't know if that is going to be the official name. And it is abbreviated, so it probably is an acronym for something. This is the second figure in the line that I'm looking at from Godzilla X Kong: The New Empire. Yesterday we took a look at Godzilla: The Evolved Form, so today we're taking a look at King Kong. Sorry. Kong. Spoiler alert, I have a sneaky suspicion by the end of the film, he will be called King Kong. But let's take a look at the packaging. Again, it is this new open packaging thing. I'm not a huge fan of it. It is what it is. It doesn't have a lot of accessories. It has one accessory, which I think is like a gunship or something like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the box. We've got Kong. It's, oh, here we go. It's Bio Enhanced Argument Sensitive Thunder Glove. Okay. And it comes with the uh, Bio Mini Eve. I'm assuming that is some kind of device. Again, it says fully articulated and posable. As we saw with Godzilla yesterday, that is not 100% the case. It does have the same, I forgot to point that out yesterday, but it has the same kind of like, you know, general information about the movie. I do like he has some battle damage on him and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and let's get Kong out of his packaging. Here's Kong out of his packaging. And I have to say guys, this is, kind of cool figure it's it's actually very very heavy and if i was going to be completely honest i feel like this figure is actually more, has more articulation than godzilla did but before we take a look at the figure let's take a look at the accessories it comes with this yeah basically what this is it comes with the ship i believe this is the ship they used to get to the hollow earth in the film that we saw in the trailer it's called a bio series something Bio, mech, bio mini heavy something. It has like this little, like, you know, little piece right here. Honestly, for this being a, a toy for a four year old, I'm actually very impressed with the sculpt. And you could customize this, you know, you could add maybe the windows in here, maybe add some, you know, some battle damage, something more little detail. But it does have a lot of fragments and little like details in the plastic. And it's a soft plastic for the most part. It's about a bit of soft plastic, not too soft, but. I think this is pretty cool and you know it's a little nice little display piece you know that you can have i think kong can kind of hold it place it in kong's hand like that so you can you can do that let's take a look at kong himself as i said at the beginning of the video he has this very cool like battle damage like scar and i'm pretty sure that comes from king scar himself when he gets hurt in the film he has good Paint work, sculpting work is great. Let's take a look at the articulation. His he has full he has full articulation. He has elbows. You get you know 90 degree. You get basically a spin around. You can almost do the iconic Kong pounding. Uh, fingers no articulation, but he does have wrist movement. Move. He does have wrist movement, which is actually pretty cool. I actually really dig that. Over on the hand, the only thing that the beast arm loses is the articulation in the elbow, in the wrist. But other than that, he has, and it, he does look like he loses just a little bit of range on the arms, a little bit. No, actually it looks like it's about the same. I think it's just the angle of the, of the sculpting where it looks like it's it's out a little further. But again, he has full range. Uh, you can you can get him in some pretty, pretty fun poses. Uh, for the head, his head is on a ball joint, it looks like, or like, a, yeah, it's like a ball joint, but it only can spin. It can look like that, it can look like that. No mouth movement. Okay, you, you get a little bit of a tilt. Just a little bit. So you can't do that. Uh, he has no waist. Actually, no, he does. Nope, he does not have a waist. It does. It looks like it right there. It looks like it, but I think it's just the, oh, that's the molded detail. And then for the legs, it is, he gets a knee bend and he gets a thigh bend and he gets outwards like that. And that's about it. You can put him into some, he's very top heavy. So, you know, you can do like some of the iconic like gorilla poses. The only issue that I have with this pose is that he can't look up. The only issue I have with this figure is that he can't look up. I do feel like he is very, very good figure. I, let's take a look at some of the, the details. So first, let's take a look at the head sculpt. The head sculpt is amazing. I, I love it. Like the eyes, little orange dots in there, but you know, and it looks like, uh, it looks like the, the mouse painted too. So that's, that's definitely something, that's definitely, a, 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 I'm, okay, I'm cool with that. And let's take a look at the beast arm. It looks like we got some text on here. We got L9PB. 
Yeah, our TV61. This looks this is what we got. We got NT48, HT42, so little Easter eggs maybe for the movie. So we've got this augment part right here that's painted, but then it's not painted on the inside. So it looks it's it's kind of jarring. And you also got this piece right here that's not painted as well. If you're a toy customizer, you can do that. I've thought about customizing some of my figures myself. I, think I might start getting into. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, if you'd like to see me do a bit more toy customization on the channel. So let's do some size comparisons here he is godzilla we just reviewed and he's a little taller just 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 slightly little taller i can see that it's actually pretty cool here he is with godzilla from the show on air which is again this godzilla is more hunched over so they're about roughly almost godzilla still a little taller here he is with shin godzilla shin godzilla the beast what can i say finally here he is with godzilla from king of the monsters these are my NECA versions and actually and i do have him kind of hunched over a little bit but if i were to straighten him up a little bit more he is just about the same height and there he is with bumblebee this kong is actually really good i wasn't sure if i was going to like it all that much considering that these figures are made primarily for children they are marketed to the four-year-old and up demographic it doesn't have as much articulation as i feel like it advertises it does have more articulation than Godzilla had, in my personal opinion. And I think it's just mainly the fact that Godzilla had no elbows then, where Kong has all of that. While I wish it had a bit more of a head tilt so that you could put him in a running pose, but I do feel like overall it's a good figure. The paint applications are pretty good. In this pose in particular, you can't really see the unpainted finished parts. I digress. It's not a huge deal. I do like the detail on the chest with like the claw marks and the scratch marks i do like the the way they molded the fur it's plastic but it doesn't look fake to me whereas godzilla and i don't know if godzilla's skin tone is going to be that weird color to me it just seemed like it was not godzilla it felt more like one of those japanese uh, godzilla toys that we would have got way back in the 70s where they were not a green or black color they were more of a like green slash like neon i was a neon green but not 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 the color that he was in the films overall this this kong is really good i'm really looking forward to seeing how the beast glove is how it comes about in the film like is it created after kong is injured was it created to help kong fight godzilla or other kanjus in the movie I don't know. I haven't read a whole lot about the film. I, mean, I, don't, I just don't want to get spoiled because I am going to be seeing it on Thursday, which is the day actually that this review is going to be going up. So, but I, I just love Godzilla. I think this whole MonsterVerse thing has been super successful. It knows what it is. It's kept to the point. It, while I think human characters are the weakest link of these films, we'll see you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, check out this one right here. And as always, guys, until next time.